past several years, I've been very lucky to photograph some amazing places and wildlife. While most of my work is done in the United States, I have been lucky to travel outside the U.S. I love the challenge of photographing wildlife, and one of my most memorable trips was in Kenya. While in Kenya, I visited three parks along with a small group of friends. Each park offered something different. The first place we visited was Amboseli. Amboseli is a mostly marsh area that has a variety of wildlife. We were lucky to see cheetahs and lions, but we saw them from a distance. There were also hippos, but again, they were noticeable only from a distance. Amboseli was the perfect place to watch elephants up close. Sometimes, they were closer than we hoped. Much of the mornings and evenings were spent watching these magnificent creatures wander free. I have not found much better in nature than watching the sun set with a large bull elephant. Amboseli was a great place to start. The elephants and other wildlife were extremely plentiful. It also offered us a place to practice photographing less noticeable wildlife. Because when we got to Samburu, we had to be patient and hope for the best. The animals were there, but we had to really look for them. Samburu sits north of the equator. It is very dry, and the main source of water is from the Owasu Nero. Elephants are throughout the park. Also, small prides of lions live within the park, and I had one of my closest encounters with a lion in Samburu. We got close to a cheetah there as well, but the most memorable part of Samburu was spotting my first leopard. It was a young male that we watched for a long time. We spotted its mother the next day, but I was unable to photograph her because she slipped under cover very quickly. Crocodiles were also abundant, but at a distance, and I took my first hike in Africa there. For not looking too promising from the air, Samburu offered a lot in the way of wildlife. Samburu was a memorable place to visit, but when I visited Maasai Mara it was even more memorable. We spotted leopards in Samburu, but I did not know how lucky I was until we reached Maasai Mara. Not only did we find leopards and plenty of lions, but we also got to witness part of the Great Migration. Maasai Mara is the typical savanna that we expect to see when we go to Africa. It is famous for the Great Migration of Wildebeest that tempt the river crossing every year. We were there at the middle of the migration season so the wildebeest were everywhere and we were lucky to see a large herd cross the Mara River as they followed the rain from the night before. When I say my luck was getting good, the first afternoon we spent out, I witnessed one of the rarest moments in nature. We came across and watched two leopards mate for a few hours. All of the animals that we expected to see, like hippos, cats, buffalo, and gazelle, were abundant. But the best part for me was seeing the white rhinos. It took most of the afternoon to get where they were being protected, but every minute of anticipation was worth it to see these incredible endangered species. Kenya offered so many opportunities for an up-and-coming photographer like me. It was a chance to really test my skills and patience in the field. There were so many different and unique things to do there that there was no way we could experience everything. I hope someday to go back, and when the time comes, I'll be ready. Over the next few episodes, I'll discuss some of my most memorable encounters and the parks that we visited in general. So until next time, Get outside and keep exploring.